this is the second injury prevention program we have in collaboration with the USOC and that's really illustrating the importance of prevention of these injuries uh, for our athletes and our research uh, at Spry uh, has involved outcomes, has involved biomechanics, um, biologics, but truly one of the ultimate goals is to really prevent these injuries. That's why it's so important to collaborate with the US. So we see we have all these athletes that train in these four-year cycles for the Olympics <clears throat> and often uh, they get hurt and sometimes we cannot avoid these injuries but often if we can have good implementation of a prevention program uh, in place maybe we can have an impact in preventing even further these, these type of injuries that will actually sometimes affect their chance to participate in the Olympics and you know I think prevention is really ultimately the best um, treatment to have early intervention in place to to treat these injuries uh, ultimately will prevent chondral damage to these joints and then eventually hopefully will prevent further progression of these uh, injury to the cartilage so that often leads to to joint replacement so we really want to preserve the native joint and truly uh, again, athletes are athletes, they want to do what they love, but our role uh, and the symposium illustrate, that, illustrate this is that we want to allow these athletes to do what they love safely, um, prevent concussion, prevent uh, knee injuries, hip injuries, and again that's a combination of great education to the athletes, but also the trainers that work with them, the therapists, the coaches, the parents. The parents have a large role to play in this because they were their children. So they, if they understand what we can do as far as prevention and surveillance, they'll make sure that it can get executed and ultimately affect the health of their children and you know, have an impact on their quality of life long term. So what, what are the biggest challenges? Well, actually, you want to reach the masses. And that's why the IOC relationship with the U.S. Uh, coalition, which include the, the uh, USOC uh, headquarters in Colorado Springs, uh, Spry, and Utah, uh, I think our goal is to have an impact globally through the IOC and educate as many people as possible. Again, understanding first what we want to prevent, what will have the largest impact, and um, have a system in place through the NGBs or through the countries, um, have great system in place to, to execute it, it is, is really our goal. And, the IOC is a great vehicle for this, and it's a big priority for them. So that's why we're honored to be uh, representing the United States. And I think the U.S., like I said, Dr. Moreau, uh, the University of Utah, us uh, here in Vail, um, I think we have great synergy and uh, we have common goals. And I really think uh, with that in place, we'll put um, a good education system and a good execu execution system to, to prevent these injuries uh, because some of these countries don't have the same resource we, we have here in the US or in Canada or so um, unfortunately it's not their, their fault so that's why I think we have a duty and a role uh, to uh, use what we have and share it globally with the world and as was said before, you won't allow these athletes to compete at the Olympics or any event as healthy as possible so they're their best on that day of competition. So truly when you compete and you win, you really win, quote, fairly. And um, so I think it's a, it's a mission that we should all be part of. And uh, again, it's, it takes a, a great team to execute on that. And we have a great opportunity to make that happen. You know, as a surgeon, obviously, you know, I enjoy doing surgery and fixing, quote, fixing people. 
But truly, when I, uh, I have a 17, 16-year-old uh, young athlete, male or female, and I, I get in the joint, and I see these large uh, cartilage defect, truly, you know, I feel that um, we should have intervened earlier. But sometimes we cannot intervene early because the patient has no symptoms. So there's a part that where the patient is asymptomatic, but yet there's disease progression or injury progression. So that's why prevention is so important. Because for me, you know, I, you know, I, we we do surgery, we we uh, repair people and uh, do joint preservation procedure, which is rewarding. But it's what's even more rewarding is prevent these, these patients, these athletes, to come to uh, our operating room. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's the ultimate, if we can prevent these injuries. And again, we're doing this because we have to and we like to do it, but truly, I think in the future, we're going to have large global prevention system in place to help um, our fellow athletes.